it's really good to see you um, on Monday, the, no, the 6th of February. Um, and here in Staple Grove, we have some sun, as you can see, um, hopefully on my left shoulder, just sneaking through. Um, and um, lots to pray about, um, just for a change. Um, maybe you joined us for worship yesterday in one of our services um, or maybe not um, but either way um, there's always lots for us to pray about um, not least of course the news overnight from um, Syria and Turkey of the huge earthquake which has caused devastation and loss of hundreds of lives hundreds of injured um, so we'll certainly pray for that um, as well as some of the other uh, events taking place um, in the world in our own country no doubt in our own lives too um, today, as always, you can follow the um, service in the Daily Prayer app or in the link provided. Um, we're remembering the martyrs of Japan today and um, we are um, offering uh, Bible passages. Uh, I was just <laughs> pausing because uh, the Bible, the New Testament passage, I thought there wasn't one, but it's so short um, that uh, it's sort of hiding there in the middle. So um, we will have uh, an Old Testament and New Testament, as well as a psalm. So all happening today. Well, let's turn to our prayers. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all. To you be glory and praise forever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, and in these last days you have spoken to us. In your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts. Your Spirit ever renew our lives, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. <clears throat> As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Well, our psalm is Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, of whom then shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host encamp against me, my heart shall not be afraid, and though there rise up war against me, yet will I put my trust in him. One thing have I asked of the Lord, and that alone I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the fair beauty of the Lord, and to seek his will in his temple. For in the day of trouble he shall hide me in his shelter, in the secret place of his dwelling shall he hide me, and set me high upon a rock, and now shall he lift up my head above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his dwelling an oblation with great gladness. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice, O Lord, when I call. Have mercy upon me and answer me. My heart tells of your word. Seek my face. Your face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not your face from me, nor cast your servant away in displeasure. You have been my helper. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. Though my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord will take me up. Teach me your way, O Lord. Lead me on a level path because of those who lie in wait for me. Deliver me not into the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen up against me and those who breathe out violence. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the, wait for the Lord. Be strong and he shall comfort your heart. Wait patiently for the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Staying in the Old Testament, 2 Chronicles chapter 2, verses 1 to 16. Solomon decided to build a temple for the name of the Lord, and a royal palace for himself. 
Solomon conscripted 70,000 labourers and 80,000 stonecutters in the hill country with 3,600 to oversee them. Solomon sent word to King Huram of Tyre, Once you dealt with my father David and sent him cedar to build himself a house to live in. I am now about to build a house for the name of the Lord my God and dedicate it to him for offering fragrant incense before him and for the regular offering of the rose of bread and for burnt offerings morning and evening on the Sabbaths and the new moons and the appointed festivals of the Lord our God as ordained forever for Israel. The house that I am about to build will be great for our God is greater than other gods. Who is able to build him a house, since heaven, even the highest heaven, cannot contain him? Who am I to build a house for him, except as a place to make offerings before him? So now send me an artisan skilled to work in gold, silver, bronze and iron, and in purple, crimson and blue fabrics, trained also in engraving, to join the skilled labours who are with me in Judah and Jerusalem, whom my father David provided. Send me also cedar, cypress, and algum timber from Lebanon, for I know that your servants are skilled in cutting Lebanon timber. My servants will work with your servants to prepare timber for me in abundance. The house I am about to build will be great and wonderful. I will provide for your servants, those who cut the timber, 20,000 cores of crushed wheat, 20,000 cores of barley, 20,000 baths of wine, and twenty thousand baths of oil. Then King Huram of Tyre answered in a letter that he sent to Solomon, Because the Lord loves his people, he has made you king over them. Huram also said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who made heaven and earth, who has given King David a wise son, endowed with discretion and understanding, who will build a temple for the Lord and a royal palace for himself. I have dispatched Huram Abbey, a skilled artisan, endowed with understanding, the son of one of the day-night women, his father a Tyrian. He is trained to work in gold, silver, bronze, iron, stone and wood, and in purple, blue and crimson fabrics and fine linen, and to do all sorts of engraving and execute any design that may be assigned him with your artisans, the artisans of my lord, your father David. Now, as for the wheat, barley, uh, as for the wheat, barley, oil and wine, of which my Lord has spoken, let him send them to his servants. We will cut whatever timber you need from Lebanon and bring it to you as rafts by sea to Joppa. You will take it up to Jerusalem. Hmm. So our New Testament reading is much shorter. John chapter 17. Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, so that the Son may glorify you, since you have given him authority over all people, to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth by finishing the work that you gave me to do. So now, Father, Glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had in your presence before the world existed. Well, let's turn to our prayers of intercession. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the words of the psalmist, reminding us that even when it feels as though we're under attack and we're struggling with life we can take refuge in you so lord help us to take refuge in you as we look around the world <clears throat> we see plenty of people struggling plenty of bad news but we know lord that you are a god who is on your throne and in control and has a plan even though it doesn't always feel like it on our human level so Lord we do pray particularly this morning for those in Turkey and neighboring Syria for the victims of this terrible earthquake 
friends and families of those who have died, those who are missing, for those people working hard to identify, locate and treat those who are injured and lost, recover the dead. We pray for your continued protection upon them. <clears throat> Lord, we pray for that situation as it unfolds in the next few days and weeks, no doubt as people adapt to new circumstances. We pray, Lord, that your love would be poured out upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for those other countless individuals across the whole world within our own country within our communities who are experiencing hardship at this time not not least the the friends and family and the whole community where uh, Nicola Bully is still lost and Lord we hear news this morning of the head teacher at Epsom College and her husband and child found suddenly dead at the weekend so Lord, we do hold these people before you and alongside them of course the countless others who suffer life-changing tragedies perhaps not reported in the media and yet no less uh, affecting Lord in your mercy hear our prayer Lord, we pray for the church, especially today for the Portishead Deanery as their clergy and lay leaders lead them through these difficult times. Lord, we pray that for our own churches too here in Staple Grove and Norton as we uh, adapt still to uh, the challenges of the day, ongoing Covid and cost of living and fuel poverty and much more Lord so we pray that we may be faithful to you continue to proclaim the good news of your presence in the world around us Lord we thank you for the week last week in our diocese growing in faith everyone everywhere especially for the, uh, the resources, the videos that were shared and the morning uh, in here in our Archdeaconry at Taunton Academy. With so many people coming together to engage with what it means to grow in our faith, to share in worship and encouragement. And Lord, we pray that the seeds sown uh, that week and that day will continue to bear fruit as we live out our lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we do pray for our schools as they approach the final week of this half term, that they would experience a positive final week. So we do pray for leaders, the head teachers, Kelly and Paul. For the staff and governors, most of all, of course, for the pupils. And Lord, we thank you once again for the strong links that we have for the prominent Christian ethos in each school. Lord, we thank you that your name is one that's known. Your values are familiar, not just with adults but with the children too and we pray that all of us together may deepen our understanding and faith in you but Lord in your mercy hear our prayer Lord we do pray for those individuals we know who are so struggling with life those who are ill those who need our prayers so we do bring before you Neville and Pat as well as Barbara and Ivy and Gerald. 
Lord, we pray that your Holy Spirit will will be with them. That the light of your presence would shine brightly in their hearts. And at the same time, Lord, we pray for those who are mourning the loss of loved ones, all the friends and families of um, Pam Carpenter, of Hazel Roost, uh, Maria Fox, and of Mike Hawkins. Lord, we pray for the arrangements to be made for their respective funerals. And we pray, Lord, that we would, all of us, keep hold of the promise that comes, the sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And we pray that you would raise up members of the body of Christ upon earth to love and support all of these people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, I pray for the day that lies ahead of us, not least the meeting to uh, prepare for Mike's uh, funeral and for all the other activities of the day. Lord, we ask simply that you would go with us, that all that we do today would glorify your name. As we think of Solomon building that temple to glorify you. So, Lord, we want to build our own lives and our own Yeah, we want to build our own lives to, to glorify you as we seek to build your kingdom further and further here in our own places. So, almighty God, who alone can bring order to the unruly wills and passions of sinful humanity, give your people grace so to love what you command and to desire what you promise that among the many changes of this world our hearts may surely there be fixed where true joys are to be found. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. And as Jesus himself taught us, so we pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. The Lord bless us, preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good to have you with me. Um, I hope that you have a really good day and uh, look forward to catching up with you soon. Take care.